Hello, this is Kyle Stedman. I'm here to tell you how to update the Instructor contact page. So since I'm Instructor, first thing I want to do is head to the Instructor button from the home page of the First Year Composition Program. Whoa, it asked for a password. Well, yeah, that's because it's like Instructor-only stuff, right? So I'll click through with my Forest password. If you don't know what that is, you have a problem that <laughs> you have to figure out before you can update anything. Once I'm here on the Instructor home, which I know because of all these beautiful pictures, I'm going to click Instructor's Contact Info and Syllabi. That gives you an important hint to what this list is. It's a place, one, for you to update all kinds of interesting stuff about yourself that will help get you get to know the other FYC instructors. Two, it's a place for you to, as required, upload your syllabus and update your office hours so that the FYC staff can check on them every once in a while to see what you're doing, to see what you're doing in class, and um, to ask you any questions if there's any problems. So, let's say I'm here. I've gotten in. I can only see the screen because I'm logged in. I know I'm logged in because of this up here. If I weren't logged in, I wouldn't be able to see this. Not just anyone can drop by and see this list. So, the first thing I want to do is find my name on the list. Oh, let's do this. It's a test name right here. Well, look, when I hover over it, you see this little arrow popped up? See, it's not there hover over it's there I actually have to hover over my last name I can hover over anywhere else and that little arrow doesn't show up but when I go to the last name ding, ding, there it is I'm gonna click that and when I click that little hidden arrow I get the edit item option that's what I want to click to be able to update all my stuff awesome let's do it then if you're lucky you should get this little screen that you can fill in all the stuff now your last name first name program and email should already be there but check them they might be wrong go ahead and type in your office if you know your office number do it if not you know maybe it's not, um, like that if I know my office hours already it's to, you know I can come back whenever and um, update this whenever I want I don't have to know it all the first time um, if you have a personal web page that you want people to go to that's awesome you know maybe you're like mywebpage.com um, then if you want to share your personal email you can but the required things here like I said are one the office hours right when your office hours are for that semester it's probably a little wise to say in fall 2011 so that people later on will know if they're out of date or not right now the other required thing is to upload my syllabus now if you look here and you say wait where's syllabus I don't see syllabus 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 well if I look up here I see the option attach file that's what I want to do I know I wish I could make it say attach syllabus but I can't you know it's the software so I'm gonna go ahead and click attach file and then I'll click browse to find where on my computer the syllabus is well look here's one right here I found it I'll click OK and I know that it worked if down here I should have a new item that says attachments and the name of the file I just uploaded should be there that is awesome Now let's click save and see what happens here whoa my office hours now appear my office appears and this little arrow sh um, that's not an arrow that's a what's the word I can't think of the word uh, paperclip shows up to show that there is an attachment which says to anyone who's looking at this yes um, Kyle or it's a test actually uploaded his syllabus correctly that's awesome but you still it still doesn't have a picture a lot of these people you're like oh look at the picture that's so nice I wish I had a picture now this isn't required but here's how to do it um, the, there, there are actually directions right here it says head to our upload page and upload your image there well I'm gonna right click that and open it in a new tab so that I still have this page open but I can still go there and I see a page that has all kinds of image files and a little upload button. So it should be easy, right? All I have to do is upload my picture first. Wait, you didn't read the instructions. It says, first use a photo editing program to shrink your photo to no bigger than 200 pixels in one direction. And if you're like, pixels? Photo editing program? Do, do you think I'm here to, to learn computer science or something? Well, then go ahead and email Dan Richards. There's his email address. He will definitely help you with this. Um, the problem is that if I upload a big file here, my picture will take up the entire screen and it will ruin everyone's life. Okay, well, let's say I've got my picture on my computer. Um, I'm just going to double click it. I'm here in Windows Vista and it opens it in this program. Most photo programs on most computers, whether you're using a Windows or Mac, Windows or Mac will give you an option to resize it. If I'm in this program here, I'll click Edit Pictures and look over here. I see Resize. Look how easy that is. I'll go ahead and type 200 
showing that I, I don't want this to be any bigger than 200. The new size is going to be 200 by 200. Hey, look, it went down to 200. Click Save. It was that easy. Guys, it's really that easy to resize a photo. Again, if you're baffled, you don't have to do it yourself. Okay, well, I'll go back to this upload page that I had. Remember, I got the link to that over here. Head to our upload page. And I'll click Upload. Just like with my syllabus, I'll click Browse. I'll browse to where my picture is. I'll hit OK. Pretty easy, right? If it works, it'll say, again, the document was uploaded successfully. Whew, there it is. Again, I can change the name if I want. Not required. Now, you might do that and be like, OK, where's my uh, picture? Well, that's the annoying thing, right? Sometimes you got to actually poke around and get to the next page to try to find it. So if I can't remember what mine is called, I'll go back to the name. It was Rick2. So I'll be like, oh, it must be in the R's. This tends, seems like it's alphabetical. Am I being confusing? I hope I'm not being confused. So what we need to do here is copy the address for this image and paste it into the proper place in my um, entry here. You see up here at the very top it says picture and there's a place for a, a URL. Okay, well I gotta figure out what that URL is. Where's my picture? Where does it live? Well, this is the confusing thing. If I right click my picture now and click copy link location, I'm gonna get the wrong picture location. First, I have to click the small image and make it so that I see the whole picture. Um, does that make sense? First I click the name, then when I see the picture, I can right click it and do copy image location. Um, then I'll go back to here, I'll paste in that address, and it should change to a fairly obvious looking um, URL. If I hit save, let's cross our fingers, and there it is, there's my picture, woohoo! Um, let me show you a possible problem you might have. Now right now I'm in the Firefox browser, and you saw that when I um, um, got to this page I saw this big list, and if I clicked it, I came here, I right clicked, and I saw copy image location. Well, let's say I'm using a different browser. Let's say I'm using Internet Explorer. Now, all of a sudden, because Internet Explorer is um, a little happier with our uh, web software than Firefox is, I'll get um, thumbnails where I didn't see thumbnails in, um, in Firefox. In other words, this screen with this big list is the exact same screen with this. So, but just like before, I have to click the small one and get to a page where I see just my picture. Then I can right click it. Now, in Internet Explorer, I'm not going to see copy image location. I'm going to see copy shortcut. That's the exact same thing. That's still what I'm looking for. I'm going to copy shortcut. Then I can still go back to my list item and paste in the address. Um, if you're in Google Chrome, it will look a lot more like it did in Firefox. You can um, scroll to the name of your picture. You click through, you see the little one, you right click. This time it's copy link address. Kind of annoying how it's different every single time, right? Um, so, but once I've done that, I've gone above and beyond. Remember, all you have to do is upload your office hours and your syllabus. But I also was super hip and put in my super hip picture. Let us know if you have any trouble. Thanks a lot. Bye.